In this video, we'll discuss about automotive harness components. When we look at automotive harnesses, it might seem that they have many type of components and it's, they are very complex looking. But in reality, there are only a few categories of components that harnesses have. So the first category of components that automotive harnesses have are the wires. So you need copper wires that travel between components for those components to work. Then to connect the wires to the components, you need connectors. So basically, from an electrical point of view, everything a harness needs to work are connectors with pins and wires that will transport electricity and signals from one side to the other. But in order to have those functioning well, efficient and long term, we need various type of protection devices like plastic channel, tapes and all other type of protection components. And we also need retainers to control the position of the harness and to keep the harnesses in one place so you don't have them vibrating around the vehicle. And this is the general schematic for a harness construction. Here we have a in front of you on the screen. So we are going to take a look here at some of those rules and then uh, there is another section in the course that is going to deal with specific components. So harness designs, rules and considerations. We are going to discuss about the hazards and the problems that we might have inside the vehicles and how to deal with them. So one of the problems that we have is high temperature and this is usually in solution. Next we have sharp edges and corners. Everywhere you have body and white metal parts, brackets and all type of metal parts, even plastic parts that have sharp edges. So this can be anywhere inside the vehicle. You have to analyze that in the 3D models. We can use high voltage cables, high voltage connectors, the tape that it's used, it has to be orange, the corrugated tube has to be orange, and in uh, and we also use corrugated tube in uh, some places, for example in the other body, and of course high voltage connectors that are special connectors might have high voltage interlock that we are going to discuss about in the other course, in the high voltage design course. So the harness design rules are not only for the vehicle and what you see on the vehicle, you, are, you also have to think about the vehicle assembly line. There is a manufacturing department team that is going to come after you if uh, they have problems and you're going to have to find solutions for the problems that they have on the assembly line when operators have to mount your harness. And of course this has to be done in advance. Usually you should not have any problems on the assembly line because that's a very bad thing. And there are a lot of experienced people in a company that... Uh, how uh, this device looks so there is a device with uh, usually it has two screens one uh, upside down fatigue to the operator's hand so those are two problems in one because maybe you can connect it but you need to try to connect that and disconnect that several times and see if your hand hurts because the operator on the assembly line needs to do that Imagine it has to do that for 8 to 10 hours a day. And then multiple operators can complain. They just cannot hold the cable. The cable is so thick that it breaks the retainer and pulls it out of the hole. So this is another problem that uh, you need to think about if you design a harness. And usually in those kind of uh, places, they need to mount plastic channels. Instead of a round bundle, you're going to have a plastic channel because that's the only solution. Or that bundle needs to split, to be split in uh, smaller bundles. But that's an issue that has to be also discussed with the manuf harness manufacturing plant because they might not be able to longer harnesses if the harness will be mounted on multiple assembly posts on the assembly line. Will it hang outside the vehicle and get hooked on stationary objects around the moving line? So this is a problem that probably no one, nobody is going to tell you, but when it appears, it's a big problem. So we had a high voltage cable for a PHEV vehicle. And usually high voltage cables, they cannot be split with inline connectors because there are big connectors and it's high voltage is dangerous. So it's better to have the cable in one piece. So I had a harness that had over three meters of length and uh, had to be mounted on three posts on the assembly line. And in between the posts, the harness was so close to the edge of the body and white and had nothing to be fixed onto. So it's just suspecting for the next post to be fixed into and it was falling all the time outside of the vehicle and it was dragging around the assembly line floor. So it was very dangerous for that easily to get hooked and destroy everything it has on it. And uh, we needed to find a solution 
for that so you cannot add extra fixing on the vehicle because the harness is uh, just hanging in there that's not their problem so they're not going to accept that and of course they didn't and the best solution that we had to do is to okay you know, the connectors need to be pokai okay so they need to have uh, something that you cannot connect them even if you try or about uh, those kind of issues so those are the challenges that you might find when designing electrical harnesses for vehicles those are the challenges inside the vehicles the challenges for the assembly line and in one of the next videos we are going to discuss about the challenges in the harness manufacturing plant so see you in the next video